I'm pretty positive many of you haven't even seen this. Some of you might have seen this before, and you're just watching this to learn. Some of you might just be watching this for kicks, to see how much I suck. Well, just to let you know, I will suck, so don't laugh. The 5x5 five five cube is very, very similar to the 4x4. Four four. The 4x4 four four looks like this. Yes, 4x4. Four four. Yes, I'm a nerd. I have both. Well, in this one, I'm going to show you a method that's very similar to the 4x4. Four four. Here it is again. Well, this method is very simple, and I learned it from another guy. You probably learned it off the internet from another guy. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to solve this beast. This beast is one of the easiest problems, I think, to solve. Because if you know how to solve this and this, you're one step ahead of the game. First, I'm going to ask you some questions. The first question is, can you solve a 3x3 three three or a 4x4? Four four? Because if you can, you can just skip ahead to the next part of this video. Because this next minute and a half, two minutes, four minutes, however long it takes, I'm going to be explaining the orientation. The point, the meaning, whatever you want to call it, of the orientation is, well, to help you figure out the algorithms that I'm going to give you to figure out this cube. Now, if you're familiar with parity, then you really don't have to listen to this because parity is when you have to use a very, 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 very long algorithm to fix the cube so you can solve it normally. But I'm going to show you that when it happens. Now that you know the orientation and what parity is, or well, a slight idea of what parity is, I'm just going to show you some cool tricks you can do on the 5x5. Five five. This is really stupid and very unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyways. If you want to make it checkered, some of you might not already know how to do this, you just rotate the right side twice, and then move your hand over, and rotate that twice again. Move your hand over, then rotate that twice again, and then so on until you get to the end. And then you have white, yellow, white, yellow, white, whatever. And then you rotate it either way, left or right, it doesn't matter, just rotate it. And then you do the same thing. Here, and then, there. You got checker on this side, and check it on this side. And now you have stripes in the middle. So what you're going to do is just set it down, and do the same thing. and that'll give you checkered all the way around. Very nice. And just to fix it, you just do the same thing twice over, twice over, twice over, twice over. Then you get the stripes, and you do it this way, twice over, twice over, twice over, twice over. And then you have stripes again, twice over, twice over, twice over, twice over, and you have your cube back to normal. There's another stupid human Rubik's Cube trick that I will show you later, but right now I'm still trying to figure it out because it'll switch the centers, but when I switch the centers, every time I try and get it back, it'll just mess the cube up and I'll end up having to just mess it up anyways. So, go ahead, move on to the next video, and we'll start solving.